Hi Pisces, welcome back to Clear Compassion. This is Deirdre, thank you so much for joining the channel. As always, we're here to bring light, love, and clarity from the divine. So please take these messages that are meant for your highest good and leave that which does not resonate. All right, let's see what's going on for the week with Pisces. Thank you so much, spirit guides. Actually, we're gonna take two cards today. First we have, what am I most afraid of losing? All right, this has come up before. This is in regards to something that you want and you're afraid of making a choice because you're afraid of losing something else that seems to be of value to you, whether it is a um, financial security, a stable, something stable, right? But that stability is causing you um, discomfort because you want to do something else that may be, uh, feels like taking a risk. All right. Let's also go into our soul helper and see how we can move further along. Thank you so much, spirit guides. All right. I'm going to jump right into the reading. You are experiencing a spiritual blossoming. All right, so this is really good news because whatever's happening here, Spirit is asking you to take a new direction and be open to new experiences. So whatever this discomfort is, is because it's uneasy, right? It's taking you out of um, some sort of complacency where something that brings you um, comfort and knowingness rather than risking your own personal and spiritual growth by taking a new direction, experiencing something outside the box, if you will. All right, let's go ahead and see what is happening here. Again, you are manifesting this yourself, right? Because you want change. You desire something different. And spirit is helping you with that, right? Getting rid of your fears anything that's uncomfortable angels ancestors and higher beings what messages do you have for pisces today thank you so much ego is your ego getting in the way right there is an illusion behind the ego that is what traps you from um cutting the tie or the cord of something, right? So here we want to accept responsibility for our situation and then make the choices that support yourself. What is going to support your ultimate happiness, okay? Something that you might want to do um, and make a baby step, right? Which is like starting to chart out the course that you want to take. What does that direction look like to you? What is that presupposed outcome? Here we have taking the next steps. And this is, again, what we were talking about. Archangel Zekiel coming in and helping you become more bold and ambitious. Perhaps you want a partner to do this with, right? Somebody that you can join forces with. So it kind of eases you into um, that direction. And so, um, again, it's like having someone by your side can be very supportive, but the ultimate decision has to be yours, right? But when you do it from a place of love, understanding, and spiritual openness, right? Then the world is yours to have. And you can make these choices. You can expand your plans. You can continue to move forward. Perfect. All right. Here we have another two. Two, two. Again, Archangel Haniel, she's coming in and she's bringing you some sort of truth. So this moon energy, right? We're in this new moon phase. And so what we're looking at is um, any kind of hidden message. What is it behind the blackboard that you don't see, okay? Because if you're unable or unwilling to make a decision, then don't make one just yet, right? Because you want to be certain, you want to be sure that this choice is the right one for you. So as long as you follow your heart rather than trying to make other people happy or trying to control or foresee the outcome as you might think it's going to appear, right? The angels and spirit guides are, are trying to give you something bigger, something greater. And so to proceed is to go without pretending, 
right? So in other words, um, haste makes waste and sitting by the sideline doesn't get you in the game. But when you're ready, you'll know. So be sure not to overanalyze any situation. Think of something else. Try to distract yourself um, by, you know, th that meditative state. And uh, even if it is just something that you like to do for fun, right? It's kind of taking you out of the zone of overthinking things. And that's going to help you make your choice. Renewal. So this is what's happening. Archangel Jeremiah is coming in. So... Perhaps you are reevaluating the where you are in your life. What what does this existence look for you, right? Because there's some sort of understanding, and that when you have that understanding, then the changes that you wish to make in the future will come more easily, right? So by reviewing the past with compassion and forgiveness, you're allowing that space. Okay, because what took place in the past doesn't necessarily mean that the same thing is going to occur in the future. You learn by those mistakes or those choices, but they weren't all bad. There you go. This is what we're looking for. Okay, when you're on your ace of earth, this is your ace of pentacle. This is your new luck. This is your solid future gains. And Archangel Azrael, tender grace of God, right? Helping you cross over, getting you back in the groove. So something's going to take place in the near future that's going to get you on the right path. And it's not that you're on the wrong path right now. It's like getting you on the right path of your mindset, okay? Um, so perhaps there is something coming in that's going to bring you great fortune and change your perspective, Whatever you were thinking of, whatever's going to change your mindset, it's going to click, okay? This is um, possibly a, a, a brand new home, all right? It's an exciting career opportunity. Whatever this is, it is lucrative, okay? Could be a contract with someone. There's something significant, a, a, a new purchase, something significant that's going to take place, okay? So... All of this good fortune is on its way to you. Whatever you're feeling now, get out of that funk. Archangel Michael, thank you so much for joining us. Okay, again, Archangel Michael, powerful, right? He helps cut the energy that's negative. He protects us from harm. He helps us with all of the things that we want to do in our lives be it in travel, in relationships, okay? Whatever's going on, he's overseeing it because he loves to assist the light workers, right? On their life purpose. So this is about him coming in and showing you direction, okay? There is a need for work, but not control. There is a need for managing your resources wisely, right? By not um, going to the extreme of spending or holding too tightly to your finances, right? It's the balance of giving and receiving, okay? And there's also a balance of your emotions at this time. So this is good because we want smart business sense, right? And not being afraid, not being too rigid. Here we go. Okay, so we're talking about your finances here. This is also about the planning stages, okay? Now, here we have the Knight of Pentacles, and the Knight of Pentacles is a business proposal. This is planning stages. This is work that either has been done or is getting ready to be tilled, right? In other words, getting ready to, again, plant the seeds for the future, paying attention to the details. Details matter, right? And what we're looking for is perfect timing. You know, it's like the farmers. They're not going to plant seeds for a crop that's not going to grow in the spring or not going to grow in the fall, right? So whatever this planning stage is, there's a guardian angel around you watching over you to make sure that you're planning correctly and planning ahead for the future. All right, this card came up yesterday as well, Archangel Raguel. 
again, a loss of peace of mind, right? Or a personal freedom. There's something happening that is asking you to take caution. Again, when we're in the planning stages of something, we want to pay close attention to the details. So we want to be aware of others and their motives, right? And what other um, actions that are happening around you. Does it feel right? Does it feel uneasy? Those are the kind of questions that you want to ask yourself, okay? Because um, there's something here about somebody trying to run away like... Um, how can I say this? This energy, it, it actually upsets my stomach. So it's telling me like, beware of somebody who um, has something to hide or doesn't want something to come out, right? Like a secret. But here you are with Archangel Jeremiah. Once again, the good that you do will come back to you. This is all great, right? It is the paying it forward. It is the giving without expecting to receive, right? It is having the abundance to give without expectation, all right? This is borrowing wisely. So, for instance, if you're planning something for the future, whether it is a purchase of a new home or if it is um, a new project, something that you want to start up, right? A, a new business, a side hustle, whatever that may be. And if you need additional finances, then this is about you choosing to watch your money um, in such a way that you're, you're not overextending yourself. And at the same time, if you're going to borrow, right? then you want to um, look into all the options that are available to you, right? Let's say there's an interest rate. You're purchasing a new car. Um, the dealership may have an incentive program versus the credit union or the financial institution that has a higher interest rate, which means you would be paying for a lot more on that vehicle than if you were to use the incentive program, right? So this is, this is a really good card to have because it's, it's you making wise choices. And here we have Archangel Gabrielle. Once again, lots of green here, lots of financial um, stability and awareness, right? Learning all that you can in a specific subject matter that's going to assist you with your career or your goal, okay? So whatever that is, um, it is going back to... Um, I don't want to say going back to the drawing board completely, right? It's more like going back into the books, though, a little bit to get a, a, a better understanding of something. You may have some knowledge about a particular subject matter, and then now you're going to enhance that, right? So that's going to take you as the catalyst to move you forward. And um, for some of you, you may be taking a seminar, right? Or finding somebody, again, teaming up that's going to help you, right? Where you can communicate both of your goals and objectives together and paying attention to detail. Again, these confirmations are coming back to back. All right, let's go ahead and look at our angel messages for the day. Uh, let's go with these. All right, I'll put these over here. Thank you. All right, thank you angels for joining us with this reading. I like this very much. All right, so this is going to be a lucrative month. I know it's halfway over, but I see that it's, it's getting you in the right direction. So fear not. Take that worry away. Thank you, angels, ancestors, and higher beings. Please provide us with the loving guidance for Pisces with this message today. Booyah, guardian angel. What did we talk about? Okay. Your guardian angel is by your side. This is helping you, right? It's your invisible best friend. So it's a true companion, guiding, loving, supporting, and congratulating you always, always around. So feel free to speak that out loud. Thank you, guardian angel, for always keeping me from harm's way, right? And also for supporting me in everything that I put my hands to, right? Take time daily to speak to your loving guardian angel. Give thanks and receive help when you need it, okay? 
We don't have all the answers. That's why we have tarot. <laughs> all right, here we go. Angelic protection. Again, Archangel Michael, um, our angelic protection is that shielding you from harm card, right? Which leads to positivity. Angels support you from your emotional, physical, and spiritual harm. That means that if you're in your head too much, right? If you ask for their assistance, they will help you see what is causing you to think a certain way and how to get you back on track. In addition to that, they also help you make secure decisions. Again, making sure that you are financially set by making the right plans and the right choices along the way, okay? It is shifting you into the present, the here and the now, not the, oh my God, what if? Strength and guidance. I love this. Okay, so look. Your divine intervention is coming up, okay? Divine intervention is coming with a new great lesson. So yesterday, right, we were talking much about um, love, understanding, things that you may feel a certain way about, and, right, not making choices on something. But your strength and guidance card is the capacity to overcome whatever obstacle or challenge. You see how this card is a little darker? Okay, so that's telling me death and rebirth here. There is something where you might feel alone, but you will never, ever feel alone again. Once this takes place, right, you're going to not feel inadequate because you're going to learn how to call upon your angels for love and for healing. You're going to welcome them and give them thanks for showing you the way, things that you didn't know. I'm seeing the forest, right, which is showing me that you can't see beyond the forest right now, but it's all opening up for you. So something wonderful is going to open up your eyes. And I like that because it's almost like that aha moment where the light comes on and now you get it. All right. Thank you so much, angels. Let's wrap it up with Archangel Michael. Archangel Michael, what advice do you have? What guidance do you have for Pisces today? Thank you so much. Regain your focus. Okay, so this regain your focus is where all the little things around you are in the way. And what I mean by that is that there needs to be a clearing of um, the cobwebs in your head right? Your thought process. And Archangel Metatron, who also showed up in yesterday's reading, um, along with Archangel Michael, it's here to help you stay grounded. Okay? So if you can't make a decision right now, then don't. Because you want to do it on a solid ground, right? Where your footing is secure. Where your heart and your head are in alignment. We talked about that as much yesterday, okay? Whatever this is that is distracting you, okay? Then this is not about you um, going through it with true avoidance because in this phase of the moon, we want to assess. We want to think about what is causing us to ignore situations or not want to see the light or if you're trying to get guidance, you call in your spiritual guides, okay, to assist you with this. All right. And for some odd reason, I want to pull a couple of charms today. So let me just see what's out here. Okay, we got Virgo, all right? So it's the new moon in Virgo. And we got Leo. So for many of you, you may be partnering up with a Leo, okay? Okay. I see something about a Leo that is um, that, that courage, right? And so the courage, the strength, and a person is what I'm getting. All right, Pisces, I hope you like this reading. Have a great week. I'll try to catch up with you either in the middle of the week or by early weekend. Take care.